Hey, what's up guys? So it's now 2020. Uh, we're using a phone to film because our DSLR camera is on the table here. So we're going to show you, um, if you bought a telescope recently for Christmas or New Year, we're going to show you how to attach your camera to your telescope. So we have two telescopes here. One is the Newtonian, which is our usual one. We also have a refractor there, which is a mid 70 millimeter. And um, so there's three different kinds of attachments you can make for telescopes and cameras. So we're gonna show you all of them. Here we have a DSLR camera. Here we have a cooled one-shot color camera and a monochrome also cooled camera. Okay, so option number one, what if you bought a DSLR camera and a Newtonian uh, telescope? So for the DSLR camera, what you will need to do is take off the lens if you have one, because you cannot put the lens here and attach a T-ring which you can find online pretty easily. Just make sure there's the right one for your camera. This one's a T-ring for a uh, Canon camera. It's pretty easy, see? Just like a lens. And then for our case, uh, you have two options here. So you can use a, um, you can use a T-adapter, which um, is fine as well. Or if you have a very fast telescope like ours, which is F3.9, you can use a, um, or you should use a comma corrector. So this attaches to the tearing like that. Okay, and it goes straight here where the eyepiece goes. So take this off and then just insert it like that. And make sure you screw it back again. And that's how it is. So now the DSLR is correctly attached here. And then you can focus as you as you wish with that. Okay. So what if number two is this cooled one-shot color camera? And uh, we have this refractor telescope here. Luckily, it already came with the only part that we need for it. However, in other cases and other telescopes, you may need another you know, piece such as a field flattener adapter or something else. But we will attach this here right now. And now I'm putting the T-ring adapter on. Sometimes it can be a little tricky, you know? And now I'm going to screw this camera into the telescope. So depending on your telescope, you might need, uh, as she said, you might need a, a field flattener or just a regular T uh, adapter. And then for most telescopes, if you have to rotate the camera somehow, you can just use a screw here, just unscrew it and you can rotate um, as you wish. But yeah, that's how you do it. And um, yeah, it's pretty easy. You might need some back focus as well here, so you can just use any adapter you have, but um, pretty easy. So last, what if? Um, so what if you bought a cooled monochrome camera, uh, so you need a filter wheel on this telescope here. So here is the uh, ASI 1600 camera which is monochrome and cooled. And um, so you once again have different options. For our case, we need a uh, comma corrector as well because of the, the fast F3.9. So we're gonna take the comma corrector here. Um, but first of all, we're gonna attach this to the filter wheel. So here's a filter wheel. I'm going to take the cover off. And you can see one of the filters here. Directly screw it into it, I'm trying to be careful, all the way, okay, and now on the front, so either you use adapters, so you can use several kinds of adapters, like there's different kinds that comes with a, with a camera already, so uh, I think with this camera you have the 21 and the 16.5 that comes with it, but for my case I'm going to use a 21 plus the comma corrector, which screws right there, And now I can attach it to the telescope. Depending on your telescope and the camera you bought, 
Uh, make sure you have the right back focus so you can actually focus and you won't have any like uh, come out on the edges. So that will depend on the camera and telescope. But for our case, we have to get the 21 millimeter adapter here. And uh, this is just enough. So you can add like, you know, several adapters to it if you don't need a, a comma character. Then same thing, just attach it here uh, on the telescope right away and just screw. And that's how you attach the filter wheel and a monochrome camera. All right, so this was our very quick video about how to attach a camera to a telescope. We know that seems kind of like obvious and stuff, but we are still trying to put out videos for beginner astrophotographers. So that's why we did it. So we'll see you next time. And uh, if you have any questions, just let us know in the comments and uh, kiss guys.